done other than communication we are all involved in the process of communication since our childhood and we spend almost 80% of our waking time on communication when i say we spend almost 80% of our waking time on communication we are actually involved in the four basic skills which are required to be effective communicator and you will agree with me that these four basic skills are none other than the speaking listening reading and writing may i know from the group out of the 80% of the time you spend on communication how much you spend on speaking listening reading and writing yes okay any other response very little in writing any response from riyadh bara group of institutions when we say 80% of your time is spent on communication we are involved in four basic skills so what is the time spent on speaking listening reading and writing i have got one response ji any response you would like to give any responses please me you can speak from here as well they they'll be able to listen you uh, okay you, let me know whether we speak more or listen more yes okay so one response i got from etb studio and the person said maximum time is spent on speaking another response i got from riyadh bara and the member says we listen more in reality it is a myth that we speak more in reality we listen more and the research which has been carried out clearly points out that 45% of your time goes to listening 30% goes to speaking 16 person goes to reading and somebody said writing gets the minimal time he or she is right it is only 9% of the time we spend on writing and it all depends upon the job activities and the responsibilities you perform which will determine how much time you will spend on each one of these activities it also depends upon the technology you use now if i am standing face to face then speaking and listening becomes the major activity now if i am using a computer and i am accustomed to using the internet then reading and writing takes the maximum time or if i am habitual of using a mobile phone and i am habitual of sending messages again reading and writing comes into picture but if i am using the call messages i am giving a call then it is more of speaking and listening so it depends upon what technology you are using what are your, your job roles and activities which will determine how much time you will spend on each one of the four skills which are needed to be effective communicator and you can read this statement which has been given by chandra mole he is trying to compare a good communicator with a magician he says the magician moves objects without touching them cut things that come back whole and make people float in air a good communicator also create magic using words images and ideas and in turn he or she is able to impact the thoughts the action and the destiny in itself so this is the effect of any effective communicator and when i say communication in day to day life 
it helps you in coordinating various activities it helps you in building relationship with others it also helps you giving information to other even if you need to motivate others you take the help of communication or if there is a problem there is a conflict without communication that problem cannot be solved or the conflict cannot be resolved so every aspect of your life whether it is personal life social life work life has a very important component of communication and when we think in terms of classroom communication it assumes greater importance because you are interacting with your students to achieve certain preset or predefined you try to achieve certain predefined set of instructional objectives and research in the area has clearly highlighted the greater the effectiveness of the communication of a teacher the higher are the chances that the instructional objectives will be achieved and if we try to say communication it has been defined in variety of ways and people try to define this concept of communication as transfer of ideas transfer of messages transfer of thoughts etc but the best definition is communication is sharing of meanings when i say communication is sharing of meanings each word can have two meanings one is the standard dictionary meaning of the word another is the meaning we attach as an individual on the basis of our experiences say when i say mother what comes to your mind yes related to uh, it what comes to your mind caring what else ma ke sath sirf caring use ho raha hai aur kuch loving okay any response from the audience there in the centers when i say mother what comes to your mind love okay okay so friends here you can see when i say mother the standard dictionary meaning of the word mother is a person who gives birth to a child but you are giving so many connotations attached to the word mother like love affection care nurture the teacher the first teacher the first teacher of the child and then you are saying that the person has positive connotations this is based upon our experience with that kind of a person but think of a child who has all the negative experience with the person called mother maybe the mother is nagging punishing criticizing demoralizing right in that case the child will interpret the word mother in a negative manner so always when we come across certain language and the words we try to give two meanings one standard meaning another meaning based upon our experience and if both the denotative is the standard meaning the connotative is based upon your experience so if the sender and the receiver interprets the words in the same manner as the both the denotative and connotative the communication remains effective if i interpret mother as a negative you interpret mother as a positive then there will be gap in communication so communication becomes ineffective in other words we say communication is 
sharing of meaning sharing of meanings and classroom communication when we take the case of classroom communication then a simple definition of classroom communication is it is the process of receiving and sending and receiving messages distorted by noise within a context with some effect on an opportunity for feedback so you can identify the major elements in the process of communication as you experience in your day to day communication there is what you come across when we talk in terms of the elements in the process of communication what are the major elements yes quick quick response i need what are the various elements in the process of okay fine so sender is one okay the receiver is another the message is an important component very right channel then you have the process of encoding and decoding feedback and noise and every communication takes place in a context when we talk in terms of this there is interrelationship among these elements sender is involved leave good just go sender is involved in conceiving an idea in translating that idea into symbols that process is referred to as the process of encoding and a message is designed and message consists of verbal and non verbal symbols right and message is transferred to the receiver through a channel and this channel can be audio channel visual channel or a combination of the two when you use audio tapes you use use a telephone this is audio channel when you use a picture you use a slide you use a diagram a poster this is all visual medium combination of the two when make you make use of a television you make of a use of a video clip you make use of a tv program this is all audio visual or you make use of multimedia packages they are all audio visual channels and the message is received by the receiver and he is involved in the process of decoding what is decoding okay so interpreting the symbols to derive the meaning is the process of decoding and there is a feedback which flows from the receiver of the message to the sender of the message and based upon this feedback the sender tries to adapt modify and shift the subsequent messages so for example i asked you a question from which city are you and you give me a response based upon your response i'll pose another question to get data or information about your city and likewise this communication which takes place there can be an element of noise that is the process of communication there are many barriers or hindrances which change the meaning of the communication say for example if you are using a telephone there is a noise maybe there is a noise in the line and whatever you are saying is not discernible to the receiver or say i am using a video clip to convey some information and data but the quality of the video video is so poor that you are not able to either listen properly or you are not able to un uh, read the textual messages on it that may be a hindrance the noise element can be present in the sender the noise element can be present in the receiver 
say for example you as a teacher you are going to the class but you are having headache would it affect your communication how how what will happen to your communication it will yes what will happen if you are having headache okay maybe the teacher is in a hurry to complete the lesson so the rate of delivery is very fast attention is diverted the teacher may not invite interaction from the students or yesterday you had traveled from up and you have joined the program maybe you were tired and you were not able to focus and concentrate on what is being said so that is also creating a hindrance so any tiredness on the part of the sender or the receiver okay so these are any factor that is within the sender or the receiver which hinders the process of communication is called internal noise and what is external noise then external noise is you are sitting in a classroom somebody entering the classroom banging the door behind and there's a loud noise created is external noise you are sitting and two people sitting next to you they start talking to each other that itself creates a noise for the person or maybe somebody is tapping kabhi pen ko kholte hain kabhi pen ko band karte hain somebody tapping the foot on the footrest may create a noise which is external or maybe somebody outside there is loud music going on or you all have a mobile and the mobile rings that itself is external noise which creates disturbance in the process of communication so there can be internal noise there can be external noise and this process of communication takes place in a context every communication has four different context the very first context is where the communication is taking place is it at home is it in the classroom is it in the laboratory is it in the playground is it in the cafeteria the communication which takes place at home is yes unstructured unorganized very open but the communication which takes place in the classroom is formal structured organized the communication which takes place in the coffee while you are sitting with a student or a colleague it is very informal very open and you can discuss any issue right so the nature and content of communication varies depending upon the place where the communication is taking place the second context is the psychological context what kind of feelings exist within the sender and the receiver of the message for example when you joined the teaching profession the very first day when you went to the class what was the feeling kya lag raha tha hesitation was there any effect of hesitation on your communication kis tarah ka bol nahi pa rahe the so when you are feeling nervous you are lacking the confidence or you are hesitant in a given situation then you are not able to have a fluency in your speech you look for words maybe you commit mistakes this is what normally happens but think of a situation which is very secure very safe and you feel that the other person is welcoming then your communication is open and you are very frank with the person and you discuss at length this is how 
the psychological feelings that is the feeling component affect your communication and then comes the third context the social context what is the status hierarchy between the two people who are involved in the process of communication are you talking to your students are you talking to a colleague are you talking to a head of the department are you talking to a director of the institute or are you talking to a vice chancellor of a university where the degree of formality will be more vice chancellor so that means the greater the difference between the status occupied by the people involved in the process of communication the greater will be the degree of formality the fourth context which is important is the temporal context the time dimension that then there is always a right time to say anything so look to the program schedule which you have in colleges all theory classes are in the morning all practical classes are kept in the afternoon why so why so yes why so okay so the theory classes require the learner to pay attention to concentrate and when they are fresh they are able to focus concentrate pay attention and that's why all theory classes are kept in the morning and when you are involved in doing the task you don't need to pay deliberate attention so that is why all practical classes are kept in the afternoon so the time element is also very important and physical social psychological and temporal context they interact among themselves to determine the nature and content of any communication right now the same model can be translated into the classroom communication model when i say can be converted into the classroom communication model the classroom communication passes through five different phases the very first stage is the formulation of message my question to you is what guides you when you formulate a message which you would like to give to your students in theory class or in the laboratory class or so on what is it that guides you Yes, basis क्या होता है मैसेज को बनाने के लिए नहीं मैं प्रिंसिपल नहीं पूछ रही मैं पूछ रही हूँ वॉट इज द बेसिस फॉर डिजाइनिंग द मैसेज आप कहा विच गोल कहा से मिलता है सिलेबस ओके सो आपका करिकुलम और द सिलेबस is the basis for formulation of message you check the syllabus you which gives you the breadth and scope of the topic you try to collect information from various sources to you try to sift that information organize and sequence the information and then you try to select symbols to transfer the message to the receiver that is called encoding of message then comes transmission of message so a teacher selects multiplicity of channels as a teacher you are standing in the classroom you are also using a powerpoint presentation maybe you bring a real machinery real tool real equipment or you bring a video clip which you would like to use in the classroom situation so a teacher is using multiplicity of channels to transfer the message to the receiver that is where you have the channel then the student is involved in the decoding of message and feedback is sent back to the teacher so these five stages you can see here that teacher is the primary sender of the message in the classroom 
is involved in formulation of message the encoding of message the transmission of message and decoding is carried out by the by the receiver and students are the primary receiver in the classroom situation so they provide feedback to the teacher and then the subsequent messages are designed based upon the feedback received from the student say you pose a question after you have taught a concept and you don't get the right answer now this is giving you feedback that either you need to explain the concept again or you need to exemplify the concept so that students can understand what i say na but in classroom situation what happens your students sometime take up the role of the sender of the message kab karte hain kab student sender ban jate hain and teacher receiver ban jata hai okay when the students pose a question when the students try to clarify their doubts when the student try to supplement the information students become the sender of the message and are involved in formulation of message and coding of message transmission of message and the teacher becomes the recipient of the message and he provides feedback to the student so that's why it is referred to as the interactive model of classroom communication right any question so far any question from the center no okay so let's proceed with if classroom communication is such an important aspect what are the factors that can affect the effectiveness of communication in classroom batao what could be the possible factors affecting the effectiveness of communication kon kisne karna hai well prepared or organized teacher that means one of the factors is all those factors which relate to teacher aur kuch hmm hmm हम्म ओके सो आपका कहना है इट इज नॉट ओनली टीचर रिलेटेड फैक्टर्स बट स्टूडेंट रिलेटेड फैक्टर्स आल्सो इफेक्ट द इफेक्टिवनेस ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन द थर्ड कंपोनेंट इज हाउ यू डिजाइन द मैसेज इवन दैट मैसेज डिजाइनिंग कैन अफेक्ट द इफेक्टिवनेस ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन सो देयर नंबर ऑफ वेरिएबल्स रिलेटेड टू message then likewise the method and media you adopt to transfer the message that will affect the effectiveness and lastly what kind of learning environment exists in your class that is going to impinge upon the effectiveness so we'll be taking teacher related factors student related factors message related factors which can affect the effectiveness of communication so coming to teacher related factors ek aapne mujhe bataya jaldi se kuch aur batana chahiye aapne ek kaha ki preparation on the part of the teacher what else can affect teacher related kya cheeze hain jo affect karengi yes bolie what are the teacher related factors which can affect the communication effectiveness okay teachers communication ability or kuch that will be communication ka component hi aa gaya voice or kuch language which the teacher is using that is also part of communication any other any response from the center please रियात बारा कौन सी चीजें हैं विच आर रिलेटेड टू द नेचर विच कैन यस 
जी रियाद मुबारक ग्रुप क्या हो गया जी रिस्पॉन्स तो दीजिए कैन आई गेट ए रिस्पॉन्स फ्रॉम कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग टीचर एन any teacher related factor which affects the communication effectiveness han ji sir bolie please not able to switch on the mic hello sir internal mic pe bol dijiye aap We are not getting the audio. Only ni re. Chalo. Anyway, I am not getting a response from any of the centers. So let's proceed with what the participants here have said. Sir, mic ke bina hi bolie ab. Internal inbuilt mic will work. Inbuilt nahi hai hamare. सर आपकी आवाज हमें वैसे आ रही है आ रही आ रही हाँ जी बोलिए प्लीज आर यू एबल टू हियर माय वॉइस जी मैडम एक्चुअली फॉर द कम्युनिकेशन पर्पस बिटवीन टीचर एंड द स्टूडेंट्स द फर्स्ट थिंग इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट द मीडियम और द लैंग्वेज which is actually going to be used okay it should, so it should fine be, it, it should be understandable to the audience or the students properly ji and they are able to they are able to uh, exactly uh, to get or receive the exactly meaning what the teacher is want to uh, deliver actually fine so this is very thank you any other sir language ke ilawa Second. Second is. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
but this is not true an individual who has spent almost 16 or 17 years of life has lot of experience at the back the knowledge conception may be right or wrong but he or she cannot be treated as an empty vessel each individual has potential to excel in one or the other field so a teacher needs to operate from i am okay you are okay life position when we try to operate from i am okay you are okay life position we give due respect to the other individual we try to listen to the other person we try to respect the point of view of other person so communication becomes effective relationships are cordial and you can continue so first principle which i have taken up is as a teacher when you go to the class you must go with this notion rather than i am okay you are not okay if you adopt that stance then you become authoritarian you don't involve your list, uh, students in teaching learning you don't give them the opportunity for feedback so it is primarily one way communication that takes place in the classroom situation the second principle is have accurate self concept apne bare mein jo aapki dharna hai that should be realistic many teachers they are yes either underestimate themselves or they overestimate themselves so always try to have a very realistic self concept what you know what you can do what exactly you are when you know yourself then your dealings are very genuine very authentic and likewise a teacher should have very clear and positive perception about the world like some people say this world is not worth living so your motivation goes down you are not ready to expend effort so one teacher must always be motivating to the students and if you have positive perception then abhi aapke paas bacche aa gaye class mein and you say what will you do after 4 years you are wasting your time being a student here now all negative you have to arouse the expectancy level you have to be very optimistic you have to instill that optimism in your student so have correct perception about yourself and about the world in which you are living i got a response that a teacher needs to have mastery over the subject matter this is very important knowledge is doubling every 7 to 10 years a teacher needs to always remain updated and current in the subject matter the shelf value or the shelf value of the degrees is declining if you take a case of computer science how long the knowledge remains current how long yes कंप्यूटर साइंस के फील्ड में फाइव इयर्स लेस देन वन ईयर सो वेरी राइट वेन यू से सिक्स मंथ्स टू वन ईयर सो देर इज रेपिड चेंज इन द कॉन्सेप्ट इन द प्रिंसिपल्स इन द हार्डवेयर इन द सॉफ्टवेयर इन द थियरीज एंड लैंग्वेजेस सो अ टीचर ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस हैज ऑलवेज बी ऑन हिज टूस and he has to gather new knowledge and new information electrical engineering is 2 years civil engineering is 5 years so depending upon the subject which you are teaching and the rapidity with which the changes are taking place you need to acquire new information only then you will be able to do justice with the subject you will be able to relate the subject to other subjects you will be able to relate the subject to the day to day life and the world of work 
you will be able to give applications of whatever you are teaching so you will be able to build a meaningful context if you have a very deep knowledge of your subject matter another important factor this was also given that a teacher needs to have thorough understanding of the learners the students if you are not able to fit your lesson to the level of the learners then the communication is going to be ineffective aap language leke aa jate hain very high five words you use the students are unable to interpret they have to look to the dictionary to find out what are the words which are spoken by the teacher in that case the communication becomes ineffective so one has to understand are my students proficient in english are my students from the rural background are my students who are very highly intelligent or are they of average intelligence or below average intelligence do my students have the aptitude for learning the subjects do my students like to work individually or in groups do my students learn better when they listen to someone someone when they see something or when they are involved in doing certain activity so i have to understand the physical the social the cognitive the emotional factors related to the learners and if i gather this information i'll be able to pitch my lesson to the level of the learners and thus the communication will remain effective this point both the centers have given a teacher need to be proficient in communication skills and when we say communication skills we include both verbal and non verbal communication skills i'll come back to this but let me see see this people speak with the vocal organs but communicate with the whole body you are not only trying to interpret the words which i am using but you are also trying to look at my facial expression my gestures my body movement my posture in the class and my mannerism and you are trying to give a meaning to the message which is being transferred to and that's why it is said when we talk about the oral communication then the impact of words which you use is only 7% on the effectiveness of communication 38% of the effectiveness is determined by what you say how you say it that is your tonal quality now let me give one example i want a glass of water from you right ramesh theek hai ramesh ko main bol rahi hu ramesh please give me a glass of water ramesh please give me a glass of water you can see the difference it is only the words have remained the same but the tonal quality when you are using the second sentence you become authority nahi laga pehla was a request the second was that you are giving using your authority and giving a direction and you are bit aggressive and agitated so your tonal quality makes lot of difference to your communication non verbal behavior i'll request all the participants to bring the finger here in front of your face leo leo at the centers also you can experience this put your finger on your cheek how many of you have put your finger on your cheek yes ye cheek hai kya hai chin hai this is the difference which is made by the action of a person who is giving you instruction 
एक्शन स्पीक लाउडर देन वर्ड्स जो सामने दिख रहा है आप उसको फॉलो कर रहे हो जो वर्ड्स बोले जा रहे हैं आप उसको भूल जाते हो दैट इज द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ योर नॉन वर्बल बिहेवियर एंड दैट्स वाई इट इज सेड द टिप द वर्बल कम्युनिकेशन द वर्ड्स विच यू यूज इज ओनली द टिप ऑफ द आइसबर्ग द रिमेनिंग आइसबर्ग इज नॉन वर्बल कम्युनिकेशन नाउ लेट्स so let's go to verbal communication you have already given me these points i need not uh, elaborate on these you said as a teacher simplicity of language if you use a language which is comprehensible to your learners your message will be across you will be able to achieve your objectives but if you are using a difficult language or an alien language which is not known to your students when i say bon voyage how many you can in, how many of you can interpret yes mai french word use kar rahi hu best of journey so not many people would be able to understand unless you know the language so if you are using a language which is comprehensible it is interpretable the language needs to be grammatically correct and technically correct agar main bolna cha rahi hu current to main current hi use karungi main voltage nahi bol sakti hu agar voltage use karna cha rahi hu to voltage hi use karungi theek baat hai agar main meter use kar rahi hu to meter bolungi agar meter use kar rahi hu to meter bolungi so whatever language technically which is correct i need to use that fine in addition to that when we talk about the teacher related factor then it is important sorry the teacher related factor also include other two elements like हां जी बोलो नहीं नहीं आई डोंट नीड टू जस्ट सॉरी फॉर दिस इंटरप्शन व्हेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द टीचर रिलेटेड फैक्टर वी हैव ऑलरेडी डेल्ट विद बोथ कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स वर्बल एंड नॉन वर्बल आर इंपॉर्टेंट नॉन वर्बल तो मैंने आपको बता वर्बल बता दिए हैं तो नॉन वर्बल क्या है the number of non verbal in your communication first you see the facial expression now as a teacher what should be the normal facial expression in the class kaisa hona chahiye kyun gussa hoga to kya hoga okay so that means a pleasant smiling face is always welcomed by us so in normal routine the teacher facial expression has to be pleasant and smiling but something which has happened which is not desirable at that point of time maybe the anger is reflected on your face so if your verbal content is matched by your facial expression then there will be desirable effect on the student agar suppose kar lijiye main bacche ko dant rahi hu aur main bol rahi hu tumne bahut kharab kiya and hans rahi hu to uska kya theek hoga asar nahi uska asar kya hone wala very easy jaise hum bachchon ko ghar mein dant dete hain to smilingly we say beta nahi ye theek nahi kiya aapne ab uska effect hota hai chalo theek hai ho gaya to ho gaya bas but so if you are really angry then anger must accompany that verbal content which you are using kabhi bhi aap bachchon ko apne jo dar hai usko zahir nahi hone dena we because agar dar aa gaya to that shows that we are lacking in our confidence so a teacher needs to build the confidence by acquiring the subject knowledge and by acquiring the knowledge about the pedagogy gestures ab dekhiye 
turn towards your right turn towards your left look up above in the sky here see here hai na so what you are using your gestures are supporting the verbal content you are using when you are using your gestures a visual imagery is created in your mind bola kya ja raha wo to nahi aap dhyan de rahe ho lekin jo action main kar rahi hu wo aapke dimag mein kai fix ho jate hain and when you are recalling what she said so you are reminded of turn towards right turn towards left to aapko wo cheeze visual imagery aapki create ho jati so gestures are important but make use of the gestures which are normal which the context specific agar indian culture ki baat kare to apne mein jo accept kiye jate hain woh gestures hame use karne posture of the teacher also makes a difference now if i stand like this and start teaching kya bhavna aayegi aapke kya lagega active nahi hai lazy hai subject ki knowledge nahi hai puri so whenever you go to the class you should have erect posture and it is always desirable that you stand and teach rather than sit and teach i contact ab main baat karungi ki we are going to study communication today and four things i am going to cover here the concept the model and the principles kya laga aap ek to jo samne likha hai wo bol diya dusra हमें नहीं पढ़ा रही दीवार को पढ़ा रही मेनी ऑफ आस डू दिस थिंग वी टेक पावर पॉइंट एंड वी स्टार्ट रीडिंग फ्रॉम द पावर पॉइंट विच इज प्रोजेक्टेड सो वी लूज आई कॉन्टेक्ट फ्रॉम आर स्टूडेंट सो स्टूडेंट्स कंसेंट्रेशन इज ऑल्सो लॉस्ट और द टीचर कैरीज द नोट्स इन द क्लासरूम और वो नोट्स से देख के पढ़ा रही हैं तो शी लूज द कॉन्टेक्ट विद स्टूडेंट so always go well prepared to the class so that you can speak ex tempo and only the main points are written on the powerpoint which can be projected right and you give adequate explanation of that so eye contact agar aap confident ho apne subject ke bare mein so you will maintain an eye contact with the class and it is also desirable that you distribute your eye contact to the whole class hamare kya hota hai do favorite student hai intelligent bacche hai class mein so my whole lecture is directed towards those who can understand ya mujhe pata hai mujhe inse response milne wala hai so i only pay attention to these by maintaining an eye contact no a good teacher a good communicator is one who is able to address the whole gathering to so, kabhi aap inse eye contact rakhte hain kabhi us section se rakhte hain kabhi udhar pe rakhte hain so have a distributed eye contact i got a response from bikaner college that your tonal quality that i have proved your volume are you audible to your students or not if you are talking to 10 people you should be audible to 10 If you are speaking to 80, you should remain audible to 80. Aajkal you have wireless mics with you. If you think you cannot reach 80 students in the class, use a wireless mic so that students are able to listen to you. Jab tak unko audio signal nahi milega, learning will not start. Right? Which communication is the process of sending and receiving message within a context with some effect and with some opportunity for feedback kya lag raha hai ek hi pitch pe bol rahi hu kya hone wala hai monotony boredom will creep in in the class to kya karna chahiye teacher ko there should be pitch variation when you start a sentence the pitch is low when you are in the middle of the sentence the pitch is highest when you close the sentence the pitch drops down again 
maintain that rhythm and you'll be able to remain uh, uh, you'll be able to get attention of your students they'll remain attentive articulation pronunciation they go hand in hand the better the articulation the better will be the pronunciation pronunciation nahi pronunciation ab kya ho raha hai ki we are mother tongue affects our pronunciation of english lekin main ye bolungi with practice we can minimize that thing theek hai and secondly agar english bolu to lage ki english bol rahi hu agar punjabi bolu to lagna chahiye ki punjabi bol rahi hu agar hindi bolu to lagna chahiye hindi bol rahi hu so that kind of capability the teachers need to develop because whatever your students are learning agar aapki pronunciation theek hai na to bachcho ki pronunciation theek ho agar aap correct english bol rahe hain to bacche bhi correct english ka prayog seekh jayenge so that kind of proficiency the teacher must have right then uh, artifacts aap kya dress pehen ke ja rahe hain ab main yahan pe ek bahut pink color ki saadi pehen ke khoob sari jewelry pehen ke class mein aa jaau to kaisa lagega hai फैशन शो में जा रही है टीचर वेरी राइट सो आई कैन नॉट कम टू द क्लास माई ड्रेस हैज टू बी फॉर्मल फॉर्मल मीन्स अकॉर्डिंग टू द कॉन्टेक्स मैरिज में जा रही हूँ पिंक साड़ी विद ज्वेलरी बुड्डू बट क्लास में आ रही हूँ सोब एंड लेस ऑफ ज्वेलरी सो दैट स्टूडेंट्स आर एबल टू फोकस ऑन मैसेज राधर देन ऑन माई ज्वेलरी एंड माई ड्रेस एंड कैशुअल कभी नहीं बनना ऑलवेज गो फॉर्मली ड्रेस टू योर क्लास इसी तरह कुछ लोग परफ्यूम यूज कर लेते हैं बहुत तगड़ा उसके जो है तीखा सो दैट परफ्यूम वुड क्रिएट हेड इन द माइंड ऑफ नंबर ऑफ पीपल तो अवॉइड गो यूज अ वेरी लाइट परफ्यूम इफ यू आर इन दैबिट ऑफ और कुछ लोग कानों में भी बालियां पहन लेते हैं देर आर टीचर ऑल्सो जिनके एक कान में बाली होती है जेंट्स टीचर तो बच्चे क्या करते हैं वही कॉपी करते हैं वही देखते हैं उसी को सोचते हैं दे आर नॉट लिस्निंग टू वॉट यू आर सेंग इन द क्लास सो पे अटेंशन टू दैट वॉट एवर आर्टिफेक्ट अब जैसे मैं मोबाइल भी कैरी करती हूँ पर्स भी कैरी करती हूँ की भी कैरी करती हूँ सो मेनी असेसरीज दे क्रिएट हिंड्रेंस इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन बच्चों का ध्यान मैम कौन सा मोबाइल यूज करिए किस ब्रांड का करी है कौन से वाला है लेटेस्ट वाला है नहीं है ऑल दीज थॉट प्रोसेस आर गोइंग ऑन सो दे मिस अ पार्ट ऑफ योर लेक्चर बट दिल पे मोर अटेंशन टू दो असेसरीज कम से कम असेसरीज क्लास में लेके जाइए टाइम यू मस्ट थिंक अब देखिए मैं कहती हूँ पांच मिनट रह गए हैं मेरे है? और पांच मिनट में मैं नया टॉपिक शुरू करने वाली हूँ would it make sense i have to be very sure that there is right time or suppose kar lijiye ek bachche ne galti ki main sari class mein usko bahut zor se dant deti it is also not fair ho gaya so proximate space how much distance you maintain kabhi kabhi bachchon ko aap class mein kaam de dete ho then you go very near to the student the student becomes conscious बच्चा क्या करता है या तो जमीन की तरफ देखता है या मैम की मुंह की तरफ देखता है स्टॉप्स वर्किंग मेंटेन अ मिनिमम डिस्टेंस व्हिच इज नीडेड सो दैट हम कहते हैं ना क्या सिर के ऊपर चढ़े आ रहे हो होता है ऐसा सुना कभी हमने बोला भी बहुत बार होगा सुना भी बहुत बार होगा सो कीप दैट इन माइंड जी आपका जो कहते हैं वेन यू आर टू पीपल टॉकिंग फेस टू फेस एंड यू आर वेरी इंटीमेट तो आर्म्स लेंथ पे बात करते हैं राइट मैसेज रिलेटेड फैक्टर्स हैं जो भी आप पढ़ाने जा रहे हो उसके ऑब्जेक्टिव शुड बी वेरी क्लियर टू वाई आई एम गोइंग एंड टीचिंग स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ मटीरियल वाई आई एम टीचिंग इंटीग्रेशन टू द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल एंड मैकेनिकल इंजीनियर वाई आई एम टीचिंग 
professional communication course and the various topics included in that so you should be very clear of the objectives then you'll be able to convey that purpose of teaching that to your students so the communication will be uh, effective because you'll be able to arouse the expectancy level of your students relevance to the objectives ab jo bhi aap information collect karte hain ya jo bhi message design karte hain that should be relevant to the objectives with which you are going to the class tabhi kehte hain ki na to aapka kehte hain na ki ghanta laga gaya par samajh nahi aaya kya kehna cha raha hota hai ise so that kind of feeling you should not be able to, you should not generate among your students another jo bhi padhane jao proper sequencing of the content एक तो लॉजिकल सीक्वेंसिंग होती है कॉन्सेप्ट पढ़ाऊंगे फिर टाइप्स पढ़ाऊंगे फिर एप्लीकेशन पढ़ाऊंगे ये लॉजिकल सीक्वेंसिंग है दूसरा है साइकोलॉजिकल सिंग पहले आसान चीजें पढ़ाऊंगे फिर डिफिकल्ट कॉम्प्लेक्स चीजें पढ़ाऊंगे पहले और डिफिकल्ट चीजें पढ़ाऊंगे ठीक है ऐसे ही पहले मैं जो वो जानते हैं वहां से शुरू होके उनको अनोन के ऊपर लेके जाऊंगी पहले मैं उनके कॉन्टेक्स्ट की बात करूंगी आपके गांव में क्या होता है आपके शहर में क्या होता है देन आई से हमारी स्टेट में क्या होता है फिर हमारी कंट्री में क्या होता है फिर मैं लेके जाऊंगी कि इंटरनेशनल पर्सपेक्टिव क्या दैट विल बी वेरी रेलिवेंट इजी टू द फॉर द स्टूडेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड ना तो इंफॉर्मेशन अंडरलोड होना चाहिए ना इंफॉर्मेशन ओवरलोड होना चाहिए जितना समय आपके पास है ट्राई टू डिजाइन मैसेज कीपिंग इन व्यू द टाइम विच इज अवेलेबल टू यू अगर बहुत ज्यादा इंफॉर्मेशन ले लेते हो रेट ऑफ डिलीवरी विल बी फास्ट अगर कम ले लेते हो तो रेट ऑफ डिलीवरी विल बी स्लो एंड मे बी दू बोर्ड द स्टूडेंट की अरे आगे तो चलो एक ही चीज पे टिक गए हो सो दैट काइंड ऑफ यूज ऑफ सिम्बल्स आप जो सिंबल सिलेक्ट करें दे शुड बी अप्रोप्रिएट अप्रोप्रिएट यूज ऑफ लैंग्वेज मैसेज को डिजाइन करते हुए आप जो लैंग्वेज का प्रयोग कर रहे हैं दैट हैज टू बी कॉम्प्रीहेंडेबल टू द लर्नर मैसेज में इट इज नॉट ओनली द टॉपिक विच यू आर गोइंग टू कवर बट यू आर टेकिंग सर्टन टास्क एक्सरसाइजेज ऑल्सो एंड दे विल इंश्योर द एक्टिव इन्वॉल्वमेंट ऑफ योर लर्नर्स और कम्युनिकेशन तभी इफेक्टिव होगी वेन यू ट्राई टू इन्वॉल्व योर लर्नर्स इन एक्सरसाइजेस प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग हैंड्स ऑन टास्क एंड सो ऑन सो गिव दम द अपॉर्चुनिटी आपका मैसेज ऐसा होना चाहिए कि अगर आप 20-25 मिनट पढ़ा रहे हैं तो 10 मिनट आप कोई टास्क कोई एक्टिविटी बच्चों को दे रहे हैं so that they can either discuss among themselves clarify those things or they apply that knowledge to a given situation so learning would be more aur hamesha koshish kijiye examples and non examples ab dekhiye ye jo baat aapne kahi thi student related factors to student ke bare mein you have to collect lot of information about your students what is the level of knowledge skills and attitude he brings to the class whatever is prerequisite to learn this particular topic how much or what is the degree of extent of that knowledge skills and attitude tabhi kehte hain you must assess apni class padhane se pehle jo unko aana chahiye pehle a quick rapid fire question round ya a multiple choice test you can give to your students or make sure that you know what is their achievement in physics or chemistry or in mathematics at 10 plus 2 level motivation if the students are motivated my task is simple but if my students are not motivated my task becomes challenging or difficult so i need to gain attention of my student this point i have taken yesterday 
I need to build the relevance of my topic which I am teaching to arouse the motivational level. I need to generate satisfaction among my students. How do I generate satisfaction? I set rules for my class. I remain objective when I check the assignment. I deal with the responses. I deal with the behavior of the students in the class. अगर मैं सबके लिए ऑब्जेक्टिव हूँ एक ही सेट ऑफ रूल्स अप्लाई करती हूँ मेरे स्टूडेंट्स क्या हैं सेटिस्फाइड रहेंगे अगर मैं अपने ऑब्जेक्टिव्स को अचीव करती हूँ देन माय स्टूडेंट्स विल रिमेन सेटिस्फाइड सो यू नीड टू एंड यू नीड टू बिल्ड कॉन्फिडेंस अमंग योर स्टूडेंट तो बिल्ड कैसे करेंगे कॉन्फिडेंस बाई गिविंग एग्जाम्पल्स बाई गिविंग दैम प्रैक्टिस बाई गिविंग दैम री by giving them the feedback which is needed so there are four major strategies gain attention build relevance build a confidence and generate satisfaction among your students to motivate them then comes your interest so interest kab aata hai aapko kisi lecture mein yes जब एक्टिविटीज होती हैं जब इन्वॉल्वमेंट होती है सो वाई कॉन्ट वी थिंक ऑफ कि हम अपने बच्चों का इंटरेस्ट जाने आर दे इंटरेस्टेड और आर दे नॉट इंटरेस्टेड इन वॉट आई एम टीच इट एंड टू जनरेट इंटरेस्ट इन्वॉल्वमेंट और एंगेजमेंट ऑफ द लर्नर इज इम्पॉर्टेंट सो थिंक ऑफ एक्सरसाइजेज टास्क हैंड्स ऑन प्रैक्टिस एंड ग्रुप डिस्कशन एक्सेट्रा लर्निंग स्टाइल्स I said, some students learn when they listen. Some students learn when they see the things. Some students learn when they up do the things. So, as a teacher, cater to the needs of various students in the class. Variety of activity. Unka apne baare mein how much they know about themselves. So that is also important. Kya baar hota hai? मुझे पता ही नहीं है कि मेरी क्या पोटेंशियलिटी मैं कहाँ तक अचीव कर सकती हूँ कहाँ तक जा सकती हूँ इट्स नॉट क्लियर सो अ टीचर नीड टू टेक केयर ऑफ द वेरियस आस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ पर्सनालिटी फिजिकल सोशल इमोशनल कॉग्नेटिव एंड देन बेस्ड अपॉन दैट इंफॉर्मेशन आई नीड टू डिजाइन माई मैसेज आई नीड टू सिलेक्ट द मैथड्स एंड मीडिया अब बात करेंगे जो मैथड आप सिलेक्ट करते हैं Every time you go to the class, lecture method. But lecture method has certain advantages, certain disadvantages. If I have to simply give information, lecture method is good enough. But if I want to develop ability to apply, ability to analyze, ability to evaluate, ability to create, then lecture method is not the ultimate. So you need to think of. seminars group discussions brainstorming then tutorials then demonstration then collaborative learning peer learning etc so depending upon the objectives you want to achieve make judicious selection of the method instructional uh, sorry method that means lecture par dena hai brainstorming karana hai case study use karni hai ट्यूटोरियल्स यूज करने हैं डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन यूज करने हैं कोलेबरेटिव ये डिसाइड देन द मीडिया पावर पॉइंट अभी आपने यू हैव सीन यस्टरडे डॉक्टर पुनिय सेशन इनग्रल एड्रेस आपने देखा होगा डिफरेंस ही यूजेज लेस ऑफ टेक्सचुअल इंफॉर्मेशन मोर ऑफ विजुअल एंड विजुअल अट्रैक्ट यू दिस इज ट्रू विद एवरी ह्यूमन बींग so can we think of that we create more visuals and we use animation simulation multimedia packages rather than simply using the textual information but make use of variety real cheezon ko bhi leke jao class mein agar leke ja sakte ho jisko nahi leke ja sakte uski video dikha do so think of the possibilities of using variety of media and must pay attention to the quality of media agar main ppts le gayi 
अब एक लाइन हरे में लिख दू एक लाइन पिंक में लिख दू एक लाइन येलो में लिख दू कंफ्यूजिंग द स्टूडेंट इतने सारे रंग देख के वैसे ही यू पर्सन इज बैफुल्ड सो आई नीड टू हैव वॉट एवर मीडियम चाहे वो पावर पॉइंट है चाहे वो वीडियो फिल्म है चाहे वो मल्टी मीडिया पैकेजेस है इट शुड बी ऑफ हाई क्वालिटी ओनली देन इट विल सर्व द पर्पज एंड यू शुड लर्न टू इंटीग्रेट मीडिया इन टीचिंग लर्निंग हम लोग क्या करते हैं वी टेक अ वीडियो क्लिप and we say okay this topic i am going to do so i am showing a video clip to you khatam that is not integration integration of video is if you raise number of questions then you show the video then you ask the student to answer those questions maybe in a group discussion maybe you try to have answer from each one of them so you should have pre screening activity and post screening activity planned to ensure learning on the part of the student right so that is integration koi jo aap baat kar rahe the ki main powerpoint to le jati hu but then i do word by word reading of that powerpoint so that will not serve the purpose so powerpoint hi chhod do fir meri zarurat kya hai class mein students can read word by word ab learning environment jo last hai पहली चीज क्लास साइज अगर आपके पास छोटा स्मॉल ग्रुप है 15 टू 20 स्टैटिस्टिकली लेस देन 30 है ना तो आपकी जो इंटरेक्शन है वो बहुत अच्छी होगी एंड यू विल बी इंटरेक्ट एबल टू इंटरेक्ट विद ईच वन इन द क्लास लेकिन जैसे ही आपका ग्रुप बड़ा होता चला जा रहा है आपकी इंटरेक्शन के ऊपर इफेक्ट पड़ता है but there are ways and means of breaking the large class into small class ab chote chote group bana dijiye which operate within the class ab what i do i take up case studies main meri class thi about 34 35 to maine unko kya kara 6 to 7 members they were in one group and they were given a case study so they are discussing among them तो आप सब बच्चों को आपस में छे के छे आपस में डिस्कस कर रहे हैं सो आई कुड गो टू सिक्स ग्रुप्स वर्किंग इन द क्लास एंड इंटरेक्ट विद बट छत्तीस को एक साथ नहीं कर पा रही देन आप जब ऐसी एक्टिविटीज ढूंढेंगे गो ऑन चेंजिंग द ग्रुप्स आज मैंने आप तीनों को ग्रुप बनाया कल मैं इन तीनों को एक ग्रुप बना देती हूँ सो डिफरेंट पीपल विल हैव the flavor of interacting with others aapki class mein seating arrangement kya ab dekhiye agar aisa arrangement hai jo mere paas hai abhi to main group discussion nahi kara sakti group discussion ke liye mujhe kya chahiye a semi circular or a round kind of arrangement where people can see the face of each other and discuss the issue to seating arrangement also makes a डिफरेंट अब देखिए मैंने आपको इंडिविजुअली काम दे दिया लेकिन चेयर्स के बीच में कोई जगह ही नहीं है कि आई कैन गो इन साइड एंड आई कैन सी वॉट एन इंडिविजुअल इज डूइंग तो आपकी कम्युनिकेशन पे उसका एडवर्स इफेक्ट पड़ रहा है सो वॉट काइंड ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन यू वुड लाइक टू गिव टू योर स्टूडेंट उसके लिए अप्रोप्रिएट सीटिंग अरेंजमेंट भी चाहिए क्या आप बच्चों के साथ स्टूडेंट्स के साथ यू इंजॉय द रेपो If you are able to enjoy and build that rapport with your student, then your students would be interacting with you. They'll be giving you the feedback. So when the communication is open, the feedback channel is open. Learning will be fine. Right? So make use of that. They'll be also coming out with their problems, cooperation and competition. this is an era where you need to promote cooperation rather than competition to main kya karti thi class mein apni karti hu i give the task in a group so i ask the people to work on the problem make one presentation all the students they are getting the benefit of evaluation 
and i didn't evaluate i asked the other group members to evaluate bachcho ko hi kaha ki aap evaluate kijiye ek dusre ko so you create an environment where they are objective they also learn how to assess a particular thing opportunity for feedback communication is a two way process and if you close down the feedback channel you are not sure whether the receiver not so always keep the channels of communication open opportunity for experimentation give them opportunity to explore ideas processes and also give them opportunity to experiment with new ideas new techniques and then you will see learning would be more right reinforcement so if you get a desired so learning environment agar conducive hai and you are getting the desired behavior desired performance you need to reward you need to recognize you need to appreciate and we are human being hungry of appreciation har koi chahta hai acha kaam karo to appreciation milni chahiye hota nahi even at this age i also look for some recognition some appreciation hota hai ki nahi to bacche bhi to chahte hai oh to badi dur di gal hai i think that level uh us level pe contribution hona zaruri hai national level pe so i would say these are some of the factors which affect the effectiveness of your communication and if you pay attention to these small small things then you can be more effective in your communication so thank you very much for participating in the session any questions first i can take up bikane ji मैम कोई क्वेश्चन है हाँ जी जी बोलिए प्लीज हेलो जी जी बोलिए आपने जो कम्युनिकेशन मेथड बताया क्लासरूम टीचिंग में उसमें आपने एक पॉइंट बताया यूज ऑफ सिंबल्स हाँ जी तो व्हाट इज मींस व्हाट व्हाट आर दो सिंबल्स एंड व्हाट इज दैट एक्चुअली आई वांट टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट पॉइंट uh sir when we talk about symbols they can be verbal or non verbal symbols jab aap language ka prayog karte hain so all your words they are also symbols right if you are using say, multiplication division this is algebraic symbols which are used they are also symbols but when i am saying symbols say for example i am using voltage वोल्टेज का भी सिंबल है रेजिस्टेंस का भी सिंबल है सो टेक्निकल सिंबल्स आर आल्सो देयर सो ऑल दो सिंबल्स आर टू बी टेक्निकली करेक्ट नो मैडम सिंबल्स मींस योर बॉडी पोस्चर सिंबल्स और मींस नहीं 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 बॉडी पोस्चर का सिंबल नहीं बोल रही हूं द वर्ड्स पहली चीज है जो लैंग्वेज यूज कर रहे हैं उसके सिंबल ठीक है दूसरी चीज है जो नॉन वर्बल सिंबल्स आप यूज कर रहे हैं वो भी है or non verbal is not symbols are not body posture okay. any other yes sir one more question ji sir hello ji ji boliye this is dr yn singh madam and uh, yes, first of all i want to congratulate you for giving very nice and uh, very simple uh, presentation it is uh, very informative also and we learned a lot lot uh, you uh, told actually uh, in in between this uh, presentation that we should deal with the students uh, with a smiling face chahe aap gussa ho to bhi aapko smile deke unse baat karni hai nahi 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 I think sir, there is communication gap here. Uh, I never said this. I said in that normal circumstances, the teacher has to remain calm, relaxed, and should have smiling face. 
but if you are really angry with your students then anger must be exhibited because your verbal content should match your non verbal if your non verbal is matching your verbal content then only the desirable effect will be there to ye kahin pe communication gap reh gaya hai acha means matlab jab aap daat rahe hain to anger show hona chahiye अगर आप गुस्सा है बहुत ज्यादा और एंगर आपका नहीं रिफ्लेक्ट हो रहा तो फिर उसका डिजायरेबल इफेक्ट नहीं होगा स्टूडेंट के ऊपर वही चीज मैं हंस के बोलू तो उसका इफेक्ट नहीं होगा जैसे बच्चों को हम घर में कर लेते हैं तो देन इट विल नॉट हैव दैट इफेक्ट मेरा सोचना है कि बच्चे अगर छोटे हैं या लोअर क्लासेस में है उनके साथ तो फिर भी ठीक है लेकिन अगर मेच्योर क्लासेस में बच्चे हैं हायर क्लासेस अगर किसी सिचुएशन का कॉन्सिक्वेंस आर गोइंग टू बी डायर then a teacher has the right to exhibit anger also okay thank you ma'am thank you hello any others hello ji sir ma'am one more question thank you actually you said that the teacher should come in proper dress in the classroom ji uh less of uh, जी Sir, just have a look. Here. Sir, just have a look at the slide. Now, here you see the teachers. No, no. Oh, final OC, wala kudo. Paramji. Final OC. Now, here when you say one is the teacher aspect, you all agree with me. Teacher need to come in proper dress. Fine. And if I go like this. मैंने ये एग्जाम्पल आपको दी थी तो टीचर्स आर गोइंग स्टूडेंट्स एवरीबडी एल्स इज गोइंग टू पे मोर थल्ले ले जाओ बिल्कुल ले जाओ ले जाओ वो नहीं अच्छा वो देख वो तुसी ऊपर आओ और हाथ से ऊपर मेंटेन आई कांटेक्ट उसको नहीं नहीं हां जी जाओ 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 ये पता है केड़े नंबर है नंबर दस आ गया हां जी अब आप देख सकते हैं यहाँ पे <laughs> तो आपने ये दूसरा दूजा भी दूजा भी कर दो परम जी हाँ जी तो इफ आई गो लाइक दिस स्टूडेंट्स आर गोइंग टू पे मोर अटेंशन टू माय ड्रेस माय ज्वेलरी एंड सो ऑन और आपने जो अपना पक्ष रखा है वो भी बहुत ठीक है एंड आई कोट वन रियल एग्जाम्पल हियर इन वन ऑफ द इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेजेस दे वर टू सिस्टर्स वर स्टार्टिंग दे हैड अ मिलिट्री बैकग्राउंड एंड दे वर कमिंग टू द कॉलेज इन शॉर्ट ड्रेसेस एंड द लेक्चरर्स देर वर आल्सो वेरी यंग द पीपल हुर ग्रेजुएटेड दे वर टीचिंग दो यंग स्टूडेंट्स and even in the group there were young people boys and girls it is a coeducational institution so the complaint came from the lecturers that there are two students who come not well dressed and our attention is diverted they conveyed their feeling to the uh, director of the institute the director of the institute called those two students and uh, requested them they should come to the institution well dressed what happened the girl students were little agitated and they said you have nothing to say regarding our dress 
it is our own life and we have every right to come in this dress to the college ultimately the director invited the parents of the students parents were also found to be of the same opinion that director or the teacher has nothing to say to our children once we allow them to wear these dresses the management took a very serious note of this and the two students were given the ultimatum either you change the way you come to the college or you leave the college and this is a real incident the parents withdrew their wards they didn't allow them to continue with the studies now see where is the this is very right that when we don't go properly dressed we give opportunity to others to comment upon and to also you attract or you distract so it is true what you have said and i would see i would i am of the firm belief that the institutions which have uh, made dress compulsory they are rather good they are disciplining the students they are not creating division among the students abhi kya ho raha hai some people who belong to elite class they come dressed in branded shoes branded jeans branded um dress and then the other students who are coming from rural background not very well off families sometimes they feel the pinch of it and they also would like to be dressed like that to wo kuch bhi karne ke liye taiyar hain to possess those things as a be hota hai so i would say the institutions especially the professional institutions like your technical institutions engineering colleges diploma there should be a decorum maintained and maybe the students are requested to wear simple dresses and maybe you can prescribe a dress also. there can be for and against yeah. opinion but this is my personal opinion Yes ma'am I am agree agree with this thank you thank you very much